What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. It's finally Friday cause look at there. And there's the man himself. Snap on Friday. Let's do it. Come on. Finally, 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 finally. Man, I like it when you come, because that means my hell hole days is almost over for almost the week. Almost over. Man, you done emptied everything out, ain't you? Yeah, been uh, been doing a little settling this week. Of course, the November and December is a little slow, end of the year, Christmas time. Yeah. Then take the last two weeks off too, so. You take the last two weeks off. Everybody else can't afford to. She had to file uh, unemployment and get paid <laughs> somehow or another. Now, Joe, when you go to hell for <laughs> lying, just like you do for stealing. <laughs> well, do you want to tell everybody the news or you want me to tell them the news? I'll let you tell them. Guys, Hamilton has decided to take up a different career. He's. <laughs> He's going to be a professional go-kart racer and uh, got some big, big sponsorships coming his way. So that's, that's what he's going to be doing. Tell him about your zoom zooming. Yeah. Tell him about what you did. Cause we went to Branson, Missouri, uh, the day after Christmas we headed out. Now, I'm not going to be no professional go-kart racer. It was fun though, but we went to this place, extreme karting or something like that. And, uh, but apparently I didn't know this, but they rank your times against everybody else's. And you have to do the slow ones, which is like 30, 35 mile an hour first before they put you in the faster ones. So we did the faster one second that run like 45 to 50. And then we got our, we got done racing. And I knew like, that's why I told, told the rest of them that was in our group. I said, I feel like I was hauling ass, you know, like I was passing everybody. Zooming on around through there. My son went and got the score sheets and uh, he was looking at he's like, cause I thought, like, I figured I came in first throughout our, our race. There's, I think 15 or 18 people in it all together. Mm -hmm. I didn't know just the six that was with us. And uh, he's like, you came in fifth, dad. And I was like, ain't no way I came in fifth. Ain't nobody passed me. And the woman <laughs> right next to it, she uh, she's like, what's your name on there? And I told her, she's like, no, that's fifth in the nation. I was like, fifth in the nation? She's like, you won this heat. She's about fifth in the nation. I said, what do you mean? She's like, that's the fifth fastest time in the nation and for the year 2020. And I was like, really? So she got to tell me about it. And she said the top 500 people, they send emails out and try to get them all together to come do like another big race with like 15 or 18, whatever, 20 at a time, I can't remember. And then narrow it down to like where the top 20, then they all raced. And, but they give away like, I think she said $100,000 to the fastest person at the end of that race. I don't know when it is or whatnot, but it's gonna be pretty cool. Though. Tell them about your record, the track record sitting in. Yeah, she said, <laughs> I set the track record and it wasn't, it was, I think she said, it was over two years. She didn't say exactly how long, but it was over two years since the last time it was set. And I beat it by over two seconds, the track record. Well, all I gotta say is well, when you make it famous and you're a professional go-kart racer, <laughs> don't forget the little people. The little ones. <laughs> like, you're going to need some PR people, somebody shoot your videos to post on Instagram, you know. Yeah, I'm taking sponsors, so uh, my address best by my screen. You can send all checks to that address <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> so, Hamilton's going to be a professional go-kart racer. At least for one more weekend. I don't know when it's going to be, but we'll get it one more weekend at least. <laughs> I thought that was pretty neat. My son was more excited about it than I was. I was yeah. like, that's cool, though. But she had, I mean, the woman at the counter said that she ain't never even seen anybody at that track get on the that side of the scorecard. Wow. Maybe you got some hidden talents. I like going fast. I know that. But. I've been all that daredeviling from being a youngster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't afraid to crash. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Well, have you got anything new and exciting? Uh, well, since I've been off, I've that's why I told the best. I ain't really messed with the snap-on truck at all. Uh, it was still a little bit dirty. You can look at the floor. Of course, we got a little bit of rain this week, obviously. But 
I got some boxes I got to go through at the house. Probably try to do it this weekend since we'll be uh, getting a little snow and ice. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah, of course, everybody bread and milk probably out everywhere by now, I imagine. <laughs> you probably pay $10 for a loaf of bread. Yeah. That's something Mississippians, I don't know if it's this way across the world, but in Mississippi, if they say it's going a chance of ice or snow, yeah, there's no bread not, or milk anywhere. Or water bottle. You can't even buy a daggone water bottle it's nowhere. It's ridiculous. So, so well, yeah, we, we'll probably, if we get any snow, we'll be out of work for two or three days so it all goes away for at least 24 hours, you know. <laughs> we'll make it here. We may have yeah. to ride the four-wheeler to work, but we're going to work. I guarantee yeah. you. But you know how it is right here, though. I mean, people's like, it oh, is. there's a ditch. Let's hit it real quick. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, I've always said Mississippi's got... 50% of the drivers in Mississippi are the best drivers in the entire world. Because they have to dodge the other 50% that can't drive worth a crap. <laughs> we was pulling out. Of course, everybody knows we go eat lunch on Fridays. We was pulling out a while ago. Somebody started honking the horn that crazy. I didn't know who they was honking at, but they was laying on the horn a while ago. <laughs> and we wouldn't even know we're close to nobody. <laughs> That's how it is here. Bunch of what crazy you folks big old... Somebody bought a... Uh, he said, what did he say? Oh, it was a storage locker somewhere or another. He bought a, he was getting into buying storage lockers. Oh, that's, that's and, interesting. Uh, he found all these was in the box inside the storage locker. Damn, they're snap-on, too. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Look, I mean, up to, yeah, there's a two-inch. Some of them don't look like they're, like, that size is good. That's how I imagine this size was facing up. Man. That's some money right there. I think like that one was over a hundred bucks by itself, brand Holy new. Cow. Some of them got a little bit of wear, but some of them ain't never been used. Like this one right here has been used on a few different things. I can't say that I've ever seen any of that big before. I don't know if I don't work on anything that I might have to use this on. <laughs> inch and three quarter. <laughs> I mean, do you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's some big ones. You need these. That had to be bad cheap for me to need them. <laughs> don't want to work on anything <laughs> needing them either. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do it either. Uh-uh. I'd buy them yeah. if they're cheap. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I thought somebody I'd do 300 on all of them. Mm -hmm. Or 30 a piece. And 11 of them. Yeah. Yeah, 11 of them. That's cheap. Fella needs them. Yeah. You know. Especially oh, since this one is over a hundred bucks by itself. I think even these are around seventy something dollars a piece. That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah. All of my crow's feet though were snap on or mac. Almost yep. every one of them. I like the the regular snap ons, which we've talked about this ten thousand times, but we're gonna talk about it one more time because that's what I want to. That's why it's called YouTube. That's mm -hmm. why I can talk about what I want to. Yeah. But snap on puts that you know in the back and I use regular crow's feet with a little stubby extension and yep. it makes a super stubby wrench yep but now they've changed it and they don't do it no more or you can use a real long extension on some of them if you had mm -hmm. to so that's why I think the older crow's feet's better yeah I don't know how old these are but I know they big though <laughs> did you get that hog grain in for that that quarter yeah uh, no. I'm, I may have got it in one of the boxes. I ain't got it on the truck. Damn, we're going to have to, we're going to, have to get us a snap-on man. We need to find a good one right here. We need here, to find now. a damn snap-on man. I'm on vacation. I'll have to go to damn Corinth, Tupelo, see if I can. <laughs> Be like, I thought you got a snap. I do. I do. <laughs> we just eat lunch together, though. He don't open his boxes. They <laughs> more about shooting deer and drinking beer. That's, That's what they say. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well, I was hoping you had that snap ring in. I don't guess there's nothing else I need this week. Thankfully, ain't nothing broke. Yeah. You gonna I'm, order that half inch gun? Oh yeah. Uh, I seen it on the email though. I know I, it may be in the box. I have to look and see. But I did see it because where it's coming in though. Bad some of gun. Yeah, I've uh. I'm about done with my Milwaukee stuff. I just, man, it's frustrating. How many of the half inches you been through now? This is the third, third one. Mm -hmm. 
And I don't see how people that abuse their tools keep them some bitches running because, like, you know, I take care of my tools. Yeah. And I can't keep it. <laughs> I can't keep it. Like, it ain't been back in no time and then messed up again. I think Joe got it back a month ago. And already messed up again. Already done again. But be like that sometime, though. Sucks. All right, then. Well, guys, I guess we're going to turn this thing off. If y'all want to support Hamilton's go kart racing, he likes to practice <laughs> on Mario Kart and get in the game system and the, <laughs> and the game. And uh, he'll be a professional go kart racer here for long. All right, guys, like always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes are down here. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. Just press it, just like that. Y'all have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.